Hey everyone, this is Rohit. I'm going to share my interview experience with Flipkart. I'm sure that you have heard of Flipkart if you're staying in India. If not, Flipkart is an e-commerce platform in India like Amazon. The like target of this video is 15 likes, so please do hit the like button. I'll be also sharing a top free resources for interview preparation PDF, which would only be valid for seven days. In exchange, all I would request you is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So how did I get this interview? I was referred by a Flipkart employee and I received an email from Flipkart regarding filling in some details like current compensation. And I know this sucks. That means that Flipkart is taking your previous compensation into consideration, sadly. Anyways, they also asked me current role, current years of experience and all the normal details that almost every recruiter asks. Flipkart pays above average compensation to freshers. For SD1 roles, fresher salary can start somewhere between 18 lakhs to 24 lakhs. And for SU2 roles, it can start from 28 lakhs to 35 lakhs per year. This is a startup company where Walmart has a stake in, so you can say that this is a fairly stable startup. So let's dive in into the interview experience. So round zero, I had an interview screening call from the recruiter who asked me about my experience and the tech stack that I'm working on and what were my major responsibilities. And then they asked me my current compensation where I politely declined to answer during that call. I went ahead and asked him a couple of questions like what would be the evaluation criteria for round one, which was the low level design round. They said that it would be a tech coding round. However, when asked for more details, I felt that the recruiter was, was not knowing much about it. And I appreciate his honesty and and was quite helpful in the entire process for the interviewer, which you will get to know in the later video. So round one, this was a low level design round. Now I did my research about how Flipkart like to assess its candidate by looking at previous experiences and looking at websites like blind. If you don't know what is blind, I have made a video on this. So click on the top right corner screen to watch that video. So basically Flipkart likes to see code correctness as its first priority, then object oriented code. Then they would like to see how testable is the code. So I've received a, I've received a Google meet link for the day of the interview. When I joined the meeting, I saw that there were 50 plus candidates already there in the meeting. And after the coordinator joined the meeting, who was a software engineer from Flipkart, they have given access to a document which contained the questions. All I can say is that we got a low level design question based on implementing game Wordle. So we got around 10 basic requirements and two bonus requirements. The timer started for everyone at the same time and we had to submit our code at end of the hour on a Google form, which was shared at the end of the interview. We were also provided a second Google Meet link where they told us to share our screen and they would be recording our screen as as we type in the second Google Meet link. So this second Google Meet link is given for every individual. In my case, I think that the recruiter had joined my second Google Meet link and was recording my screen. I was able to complete all the basic requirements and I did not really care about object oriented as I wanted to focus on code correctness first. When time was about to be over, I just submitted the code at that instance since there was a time limit. Since there were limited interviewers, I guess there were around three to four interviewers and 50 plus candidates at that time. So everyone had to wait for their turn to get an interviewer to evaluate their code. So I was at this 27th number and I had to wait for around two to three hours to get an interviewer to evaluate my code. In the middle, I felt a little hungry and I went for lunch. If anyone from Flipkart is seeing this, just a feedback, do give an ETA to the candidates so that we know when we can take a break in the middle or at least show what number is the current interviewee being interviewed and give us our interview number so that we know when we have to be prepared for the interview to come. So after the interviewer joined the meeting link, he gave an introduction about himself and I gave my intro. So first I showed him the output of my code and he had a couple of input test case scenarios that he asked me to test it on. I guess those inputs were corner cases. So make sure that your corner cases are covered. After I tested the code, the code did not work as expected. The interviewer told me that he can give me five minutes to fix the code so i quickly debugged the code in five minutes and at that time i was using vs code with the python debugger and this helped me to debug the code much faster instead of dry running it this is something that i liked about the flipkart interview process as we can use real tools that we would use in our daily life as a software engineer in the interview itself it is quite close to the real working environment 
and I also told him the things that I would do to improve the readability and the design patterns that I would use in that scenario to improve the maintainability of the code and the places and areas where I can make the code thread safe to avoid basic concurrency problems like race conditions. And, and he was satisfied with my response. At the end of the interview, the interviewer asked me how was this style of interview in general. So I told him my honest feedback and he felt the same way. The interviewer took around 20 to 30 minutes to evaluate my code and this round went 8 out of 10 for me because I was not able to complete the bonus requirements. Uh, I would be sharing the resources that I used for preparing this round of the interview as the resources based on preparing for a low level design interviews are quite less over the internet. I will be sharing the link in the description box below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel for more such content. Round 2 This round was where things didn't go well for me. At the time of joining the interview, there were two interviewers. I guess one interviewer was a shadow interviewer. When I received the first question from the interviewer, I did not really understand it for the first 5 minutes and I asked clarifying questions but, but the interviewer repeated the same thing again and I coded the solution somehow in the first 15 minutes however the interviewer wanted me to optimize it based on time complexity and at the end they asked me what was the exact time complexity and space complex based on the input size which is what we should normally say however at the time of interview I did not give the time complexity based on the input and made a time complexity based on assumptions so anyways I, I realized that I needed more practice on stating the time and space complexity and at the end the interviewer was not quite happy with the time and space complexity the definitions which i gave but we proceeded ahead the next question i got was a tree based questions and i have solved that problem before my mind immediately tried to recall the solution and i realized that i recalled a wrong solution and explained the solution of another problem and then i realized that that i was in a really bad position so i just stick to the basic problem solving method and try to solve the problem as if i have never solved it before and at at the end, I was able to share my thought process using a whiteboard which had helped me in this type of scenarios where there is a lot of visualization that helps in explaining the thought process, the problem and it also makes the interviewer to follow our thought process. This is another tip, if you find it hard to explain, try to use a digital whiteboard in the interview. So at the end, I was so at the end I was able to code up the solution, and I was able to explain the time and space complexity for, the, for that solution, and the interviewer was satisfied with the solution. And at the end, I asked a couple of questions regarding Flipkart, how it is as, as a company. Round three, behavioral round. Note that this was a final round of interview, and my interviewer joined the interview five to ten minutes late, and also during the call he was working on other work for the first few minutes as well. This gave me a sign that there is a lot of workload in his team, and overall there would be a high workload throughout the company. As we started our interview, we gave our introduction to each other, and he asked me about my experience and my project in detail, and also what kind of contributions I had done in the past and the impact of those. He also asked what was the most difficult problem that I have solved which is quite common and a popular question in a behavioral interview. The interview lasted for 40 minutes and at the end of the interview I asked him about the work in Flipkart and asked him if he knew which team I would be joining if I joined Flipkart. This is something every candidate should know as you know how the team is prior to joining the company because if you think that you might not like the work in the team which you are about to join then you can request the recruiter to find another opening in a different team if there isn't any other team hiring then it might be better to move on and find another offer so who should join flipkart i felt that the startup environment is definitely still there and you can have a lot of learning experience over there long hours of working hence the work-life balance can take a hit however you will learn at a rapid rate short amount of time in flipkart from what i have observed is that people usually recommend to start your career in a startup for the first couple of years and then go to a bigger company for more work-life balance however i think this is a complete personal decision if you are someone who have multiple Multiple hobbies and see this and see this as a nine to five job. Then big big tech companies usually have a higher chance of work life balance as compared to startup. So if you're looking for work life balance, Flipkart might not be a good fit for you. So did I get an offer? Now a funny thing happened. 
as each round was an elimination round and my recruiter also got changed in the middle of the interview process so i emailed the new recruiter regarding my competing offer and immediately the next day i got a rejection email and i was surprised as i have cleared all the rounds so i tried to reach out to the new recruiter and they completely ignored me my best guess would be that the amount of increment that they would have to offer me is beyond the sd1 range hence they are rejecting me so i reached out to the first recruiter and he was friendly enough to share the results of each round where he was not supposed to and i felt that every company should share the results so that every everyone can improve so at the end i realized where i went wrong i came to know that my dsa round was barely passing and because of that reason i was not able to get an offer from them i also felt that since there was a huge bulk hiring going on they might have received another candidate who got same or better score than me which would cost the company less resources so next time before applying to any company do check what are their salary ranges and make sure that you know that the company can afford what your ask is it's not like you can interview for tcs with one to two years of experience and demand them to give 30 to 40 lakhs lpa offer like top product based companies can give so this saves up your time and company resources as well so i have made a video on how you can research about company salary ranges you can click on the top right hand corner to go watch that video so these kinds of things can happen in your interview process as well where you expect everything to go well and it doesn't at the end of the day so Keep your heads up and keep on interviewing you just need one offer so that's all for this video i hope you like this type of content and if you do please do subscribe to my youtube channel